lighten up the mood a little. Oh! Ah! Hey, Bye, are you okay? What are you doing? It's, it's the lights. I know it's the lights, dummy. You broke them. Uh, it's probably faulty wire. Oh, Jess, look at this. Is it a fire? No, way cooler. Huh? How you like me now? Oh my god. Why do guns make men go completely bonkers? Nothing. Right. <sighs> She'll never understand what we have together. Looky, looky. Who's gonna fire up some nookie? You've been dying to use that line since we got here, haven't you? It's so cold in here right now, my tongue will get stuck to your flagpole. Oh, hell yeah. These guys were inventive. Whoa. I'm not sure if I'm ready for such advanced levels of game play. Shit. What do you think was in there, Mike? Come on. Well, this will take care of the mood lighting. Man one, fire zero. Very nice, bravo. All right, my lady. What comes next? <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Uh, uh, uh. It's your phone. What? How is it my phone? I don't know, it just came through the window. Oh, for fuck's sake, god damn it. What? Those goddamn assholes probably followed us out here to fuck with us and just when we were getting down to business. Hey! 
Yeah, pricks! That means you! I know! <laughs> good time because Michael and I are gonna fuck. That's right, we are going to have sex and it's gonna be hot. So enjoy it because I know we're going to. <sighs> Give me a break. If I wish they were, or if I wish they weren't. I guess we should find out. Josh looked really freaked out at the seance. Yeah, I mean, he, he looked like he was keeping it together, but... Do you think we shouldn't have mentioned his sisters? I mean, it's why we came back up here. Yeah, but not to, like, have a seance. Maybe we went too far, huh? Well. Yeah. The power's not even on. Weird. <laughs> Holy crap! Are you okay? I think so. Look. What? There was something behind the books. What is that? Is it a button? Why would there be a button? That's a good question. Should I push it? That's what buttons were for, I guess. Hope it's a rom-com. Leave it to the Washingtons to have secret passages in their house? I mean, maybe they didn't even know this place is super old. So, should we take a look? Yeah, after you. No, 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 no. You go. <sighs> Gee, thanks. Is what did you find? Holy cow. Now, Ash, I, I, I don't want to freak you out, but, but look at this. What? Chris, what is that? I, I think this might be what the spirit board wanted us to find. The clue? Yeah, it's a letter. Let me see it. It's a, a threat. Chris, this is serious. We need to find Josh right now. actually after Hannah and Beth? If so, that would be really messed up. Looks like it was written by Josh's mom. Yeah, she's really making an effort to set things right with some native tribe or something. Yep, the bad karma goes back a long way. It 
So, um, I've just been thinking about something I saw earlier with Sam. What? It, there was like this wanted poster, like full on Western style, you know? So? And Sam really thought there was someone following her around. So, so what you're saying, there's some criminal up on the mountain with us? There was a message on this answering machine I found, and it, it, it was from this sergeant saying that there was this guy who had just gotten out of prison and that there was nothing he could do. Well, what do you mean? He was saying it like, like a warning. I mean, maybe that's whoever was down in the basement before. What? Under the floorboards in the library, the light. Well, there was that guy I told you well, about. Wait, 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 what guy? The guy who threatened the Washingtons. I mean, he, he said he wanted to take revenge by burning the whole place down. And then I found that crazy psycho letter. Chris, if this is your way of trying to make me feel better, you're fired. <gasps> you hear that? That was Josh! Coming from the kitchen. <gasps> Josh! Josh! <gasps> coming! Hold on! I'm gonna... Ash? Ash? I'm going to show you some uh, pictures of people that you have come to know. But maybe you don't like them as much as you pretend to. Well, this is an exercise in honesty. Tell me which person from each pair you like the most. Take your time, your answers are important. so diligently. Who is it that you most dislike? A bit too bitchy for your taste. Often the lack of confidence manifests itself as overconfidence. Think about that. Is that not just a little bit like you? Oh, once again, I'm afraid we're out of time. We'll talk again soon.